Yeah, I'll open the show with um, That's My Kind of Night. Florida Georgia Line comes in and uh, we kind of do a little collage. And then uh, later in the show, I do my new single, Drink a Beer. Okay, so you'll be on twice. Yes. So it's going to be your night, then, essentially. I don't know. Don't say that. <laughs> uh, got, hey, it can be not my night real quick. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Are you Me doing tripping a- and falling across the stage, not my night anymore. Are you- I gotta get the AP logo in there. Yeah. <laughs> still like 10, so maybe one of them. Right. Right, that's what I got. I mean, I just honestly feel so just flattered and humbled um, at the, the reception that country music has given me. And, you know, I just feel like. I already feel like I've won by being able to put out a record that I am in love with and that I got to just be myself in making and that people are just really connecting with. So the rest for me is just icing on the cake, you know? I mean, I feel like a nomination is an award kind of anyway. And um, I just want to be at peace and have fun and play the song. And just the fact that I'm getting recognized for something that I was even a part of is like a dream come true, so. Oh, you know what? I don't know if you ever get really used to it. I mean, it was it was only two years ago we were sneaking in these things, trying to get a glimpse of what's going on, you know. And uh, last year was our first year here, and so to be nominated for four awards and to be able to perform twice here tonight, it's a it's a huge honor, and uh, we're super excited and can't wait. I mean, I'm always inspired by and influenced by other great artists. I think for this record specifically, I, I have a good bit of retro on it, both in, in the songwriting and in the way that it was produced. I have It's super raw and sparse, which is how I wanted it to be. So it's a lot of emotion, not a lot of, you know, bell and whistle. It's all about the, the emotion of it. Uh, no, thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. I think it was a much-needed break for all of us in different ways. Obviously, I had to take one to have my daughter. Um, and it's been a, a, the beginning of a really cool new chapter for us. In, yeah. in, we pushed the reset right. button a little bit in, in a good way. I mean, I think it was scary at times, but then it was like once we came back, you know, we went back in the studio and recorded Compass, and we got a new song called Radio Play, too. That's on the, our new deluxe record that feels like maybe we've, maybe opened up a new door of some sounds for us, which which is important now, you know I mean? I think being at it six, seven years, we're gonna have to start mixing it up some more. And, and so I think it was really good to push the reset button. I met Hunter at the Music Cares uh, Grammy Foundation dinner about a year ago. Oh, gosh. Yeah, about a year and a half ago. And we just got to talking about the possibility of collaborating. He sent me a song, I added my vocals to it, and then we've had the pleasure of performing all around the world ever since then. Yeah, it's cool. I think we walked off that way, I think. We're here on the Country Music Awards. She can't find him anywhere. It's, it's almost... You know, Kenny, I remember growing up, my dad kind of looked like Kenny a little bit, and my dad has a beautiful voice, and so we listened to that music a lot, and we were, my sister and I were always singing the Dolly parts, and my dad was singing the, the Kenny parts, and I remember date nights being them buying tickets to see Kenny and Dolly, oh, yeah. and we would have a babysitter, and they'd be off to see the big show, and it was just a part of the fabric like of the way we grew up. It was in our house. That music was in our house all the time. So he should be honored tonight, and I hope he has an incredible evening. I saw a little taste of the tribute for him, and it's going to be really special. That voice of his is so cool and raspy, and he was so innovative. So it was very influential, I think, to a lot of people, especially us. Well, I always have, but country always has too. You know, there's, it's, there's nothing new. There's just 
the influences right now that are being fused into the genre, just as the influences back in the 50s are being influ you know, infused into the genre. I mean, Chet Atkins made no secret of it at all that when they put strings on country records, it was to try to reach a bigger audience. He literally said, we, we need to reach a bigger audience, we'll put strings on a country session, we'll make it more countrypolitan, and country took off. So it's a really old, tired argument, but it's why this genre stays alive. It, it has a great way of knowing how to calibrate new influences without losing its identity.